How much does it change? No, I'm good. Coach Payne has been joking with me about um, not embarrassing myself when I go back home, but I, don't, I mean, I don't feel any pressure. You like the ribbing? You like the ribbing when when guys or coaches ribbing like that? Yeah, I don't care. It's funny to me. You ever, you ever seen an ice storm in Dallas before? We're going to get it tomorrow. I have. I have. How bad is it? Shut down when that huh. How bad is it? How disruptive is it? Could it be? Or an ice storm? Yeah. Um, yeah. It hasn't been too, since I've been there, it hasn't been that bad as far as, you know, not being able to travel. But I know Super Bowl weekend, it was pretty bad one time. But I mean, it hasn't been anything terrible. Not to my experience. Isn't there one like the All-Star Weekend or whatever when the NBA All-Star game was there? Uh, I think it was Super Bowl. I don't remember the All-Star game. I think it, I remember the Super Bowl game. It's pretty bad as far as the ice. How much does it change things? How much does it change things for you? Just maybe take a little bit of the pressure off, take some of the attention off when a guy like Willie starts playing the way he's playing. When, when you've got Aaron making shots, like you said, you've got teammates that are that, that draw attention to themselves and, and maybe some of it away from you. Uh, it's a great feeling, you know, I'm all about winning. That's why I came here. I came here to win a national championship. So just to see those guys step up and make plays, uh, it's a big relief for me. Um, and it's also encouraging for me because I know they're growing. So they're, so they're, uh, it's only going to help me. And it's only going to help them too. And it's going to help our team. So. Can you, can you sense that Willie is embracing, you know, being the veteran guy on this team, being the guy that people you know, look to for, for energy, for whatever, when, when things are lagging? Yeah, I mean, for sure. Uh, you know, he's not, maybe not going to say as much. You know, he's starting to become really vocal, but, you know, b before anything, he's going to lead with his action and how hard he plays. And you can you can tell that's what he does by having nine blocks last game and then um, scoring the ball on the other end. So he's changing the game and making our team a lot better, for sure. What are you learning, Julius, about how to handle double and triple teams? Trusting my teammates, trusting my teammates, uh, patience, um, just stuff like that. You know, what I mean, you know, you're not gonna be able to. You know, it's not high school where you can just do whatever you want. Or, you know, what I mean, you just have to be patient and you know, trust your teammates. And uh, it's going pretty good so far. We got a pretty good win last game, so we just gotta keep building on it. Julius, have you seen any of their game against Syracuse? Finale? I did not. I know that. I saw a little bit, I think like two minutes or so. I you caught it on the TV. That game. I was just curious as to what you thought about, about that game and that Baylor team. They control most of the game versus Syracuse? Yeah. Uh, I, I have no clue. I think the only thing I took from that game is I saw that when I was watching it, they usually play zone and they're playing a little bit of man. So that's the only thing I really, but I didn't really watch it. I really didn't expect to get this much playing time early because as I seen the rotation as it was going earlier in the season in the preseason games, uh, I wasn't getting that much playing time at first, and so I'm kind of shocked mm -hmm. that I'm getting this much playing time. So what happened to change that? Uh, basically, playing my role, I feel like I, he he seen what I could do for the team and give the team energy on defense and be able to just play my role on offense and not force him anything. So mm -hmm. he found out that I can just play my role really well. Mm -hmm. You know, one of your roles with, you know, against Providence was hitting that three. You know, Randall kicked out to you. Right. How, how kind of well is he adapting to that, you know, handling the double teams and being able to find the open guys? Uh, he's adapting to that uh, big time. Uh, they banging on him. When, as soon as he catches the ball, it's three guys or two guys going to him. And, yeah. and he's just looking for the open person because he knows he's going to get double team or triple team. His double-double streak ended against Providence. Did he seem kind of bummed out about that at all? No, we, I don't even think anybody on the team even knew about the double double. We just know that he played a good game and we won. <laughs> he wasn't gunning for it or anything. Yeah, no. How, how did Calipari seem to think you all played against problems? Uh, he thought that we played well. Uh, obviously, that we're getting better each each and every game, and that's basically what he told us. And he just told us to get ready for practice when we have it next mm -hmm. time. How much are you looking forward to Friday and the? The whole dome thing and the Baylor and the 
and all, all that goes along with it. Uh, it's going to be a neat experience for me. Uh, I'm just a small town kid from here, and, and going to Dallas Cowboys Stadium is it's insane. Like, I, I never expect to be playing in a stadium that big and that's that well known, and it's just going to be amazing to play there. Did you see a picture of that stadium when it was first kind of released a few years ago? Uh, I I didn't know I really didn't know anything about it until well I knew about it though but I really didn't look up anything about it until now mm -hmm. and I know that it's probably the probably the most most celebrities go to the football games there and stuff like right. that so it'd be pretty neat if we have celebrities at our game and stuff like that. You nervous about it or just excited? Uh, just excited about it. Not nervous at all. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, we all react to that because uh, uh, we know that Willie, he, he had like three blocks in a row and we was like, he might have a triple double because he scored, I know he scored over 10 points and he's definitely going to get over 10 rebounds that game because he was a rebound machine that game and, and the blocks, I don't know how many he ended up with though, but he, he had an awesome game.